the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. My dear friends in Christ, we come together this day giving praise and thanks to Almighty God, and today we celebrate St. Martha's Feast Day. Friends, before we approach the table of our Lord to meet Christ Jesus in that most blessed sacrament, we first take a moment of pause. Let us acknowledge our sins and so better prepare ourselves to more fully celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, interceding for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring all of us to everlasting life. And let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, whose Son was pleased to be welcomed into St. Martha's house as a guest, grant, we pray, that through her intercession, serving Christ faithfully in our brothers and our sisters, we may merit to be received by you in the halls of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only begotten Son into the world so that we might have life through him. In this is love, not that we have loved God, but that He has loved us and sent us His Son as expiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we must also love one another. No one has ever seen God. Yet, if we love one another, God remains in us, and His love is brought to perfection within us. This is how we know that we remain in Him and He in us, that He has given us of His Spirit. Moreover, we have seen and testify that the Father sent His Son as Savior of the world. Whoever acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God remains in Him and He in God. We have come to know and to believe in the love God has for us. God is love, and whoever remains in love remains in God, and God in Him. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. I will bless the Lord at all times. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol God's name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. I will bless the Lord at all times. Look to God that you might be radiant with joy and your faces free from all shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard. And from all his distress, he was saved. I will bless the Lord at all times. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the one who takes refuge in the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. Fear the Lord, you his holy ones, for naught is lacking for those who fear him. The great grow poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord want for nothing. I will bless the Lord at all times. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus entered a village where a woman whose name was Martha welcomed him. She had a sister named Mary who sat beside the Lord at his feet, listening to him speak. Martha, burdened with much serving, came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me by myself to do all the serving? Tell her to come and help me. The Lord said to her in reply, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the greater part, and it will not be taken from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There are two saints named in sacred scripture who I think get a bad rap. First, of course, is 
St. Thomas the Apostle, Doubting Thomas, if you will. The second is, well, St. Martha, because I think we all have an inner Martha, and I also think we have an inner Mary, and I think that ideally we have to find the balance between the two, because while Martha sometimes gets vilified, I think that's unfair. There was a lot of preparation that went into having their friend Jesus come over to their house, and a lot of work to be done afterwards. And Martha was focused on that. She was focused on the task at hand. Mary, on the other hand, was just basking in the presence of Jesus, just listening to him speak, just in the state of infatuation. Martha gets angry. I think I'd get angry too. Would you? Because here Martha is doing all of this work and Mary's just sitting there. And she says, Jesus, t tell Mary to come and help me. This is a lot of work for me to do. And Jesus almost scolds Martha in a sense. He says, Martha, Martha, there's, you're so anxious about all these things. Mary's chosen the greater part. Let Mary do what Mary does. I think a lot of it has to do with us putting things into perspective, with us prioritizing. Yeah, there was a lot of work that went into having Jesus there. But what was the main point? Jesus was there. How many times in our life have we invited people over to where we live and been that gracious host or hostess? But when did our Martha come into play? When did our attention waver from our guests and more toward the tasks that lie ahead? We need to be present to one another. And Jesus was present to Mary and Martha. But in that moment, only Mary was really truly present to Jesus. There's a difference between being physically there, present, and being totally, spiritually, emotionally, verbally, physically present to someone. Mary did choose the better part. But Martha is not entirely to be vilified. There are two options for our gospel today. That second option is the other time we see Martha, the death of Lazarus. And Martha says something very, very important to our Lord Jesus Christ. She says, My brother would not have died if you were here. Jesus says, your brother is going to rise. And Martha says, yes, Lord, I know, in the resurrection on the last day. And then Martha says something very important that each and every one of us needs to say at some point in our life. Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, who has come into the world. Martha has her moment of redemption in sacred scripture. We do too. We can focus on the trials and the tasks at hand, but in the end, we have to know what truly matters. Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, who has come into this world to save me. And so, friends, with confidence that our loving and merciful God hears all of our prayers, we present our needs and the needs of this St. Paul family before God's holy altar. For the church, for the people of God, for all who follow the Christ, that will be strengthened and renewed in our faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who lead and hold power in government, society, throughout the world, that they'll remember each and every life entrusted to their care. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all laborers, for all of those in the hospitality industries, for all of those who are struggling to find work right now, that through the outstretched arms of this family of faith, they may know of God's love, God's care, God's concern, and God's compassion for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick and suffering, that they know God's healing presence today, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for all of our beloved dead, especially those for whom we now pray. May they see the face of our loving God this day and live forever with all the saints in light. We pray to the Lord. Loving and merciful God, we know that you hear all of our prayers, those we've spoken aloud today and those still stirring in the silence of our hearts. Lord, lead us and guide us by that light of faith that we may always grow in our love of you and that we may take that time to truly be present to others and help them to encounter your Christ. And we ask these in all of our prayers through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And through the mystery of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And so with humble spirit and contrite heart, may accepted by you, O Lord, may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sins. And so pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord be, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we proclaim your wonders in St. Martha, O Lord, we humbly implore your majesty that, as our homage of love was pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ the Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new, and you offer us sure signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayer sustains us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation. We acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfold so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, with all the clergy and with your entire holy people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Paul, Martha, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, 
Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And so, friends, at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all anxiety, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of our Lord be with you always. And on behalf of all of us who call St. Paul's our home, may Christ's peace be with you and your family, now and forever. And so may the mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ be eternal life to all who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. And so may the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy be for me protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep all of us safe for eternal life. Amen. Let us pray. May the holy reception of the body and blood of your only begotten Son, O Lord, turn us away from the cares of this fallen world, so that, following the example of St. Martha, we may grow in sincere love of you on earth and rejoice to behold you for eternity in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you now and always, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Mm -hmm.